Hey there, good afternoon. I'm Lucas Vaughn with the Missouri Department of Conservation. And today on Habitat Hints, we're going to talk about invasive species and why they're bad. Specifically, we're going to talk about plants, why they're bad, why they're bad for the environment and so forth. And MDC's Jason Jensen's here with us. And Jason's going to tell us all we need to know about invasives. So let's flip this around and we'll get to talking with him. Hey there, good afternoon, Jason. So tell us, you know, here we are on private property and we're talking invasive species. So tell us a little bit about them, well, why they're bad, what, what we need to know about them. Yeah, you bet. And thanks for joining us today for another Habitat Hints. Our focus for today is gonna be on invasive species. And so this old field that we're standing in today is really dominated, the herbaceous layer is really dominated by a plant called Cerecia lespidiza. And so Cerecia, is uh, an invasive species. Um, it's one that will totally monopolize and outcompete other native vegetation on this site. Because it grows so dense, um, because it is not a native species, has very, very little, if any, wildlife value to it. Um, it will grow so dense that uh, things like quail and rabbits won't even use it, uh, deer won't browse on it. Um, it produces a seed that's really not utilized by, by much eat of our native wildlife either. So Cerecia is a species that's not native to Missouri, um, isn't used by our wildlife, isn't even used by our native pollinators and things like that. Um, and typically when you bring in a plant that's not native to the area, you know, you don't have that relationship that's evolved over thousands of years between insects and those native plants. And so they have very, very little benefit um, to our environment, to our native wildlife here. You know, back behind us, we've got a calorie pear. Uh, you know, another name for a calorie pear is a Bradford pear. A lot of people have utilized a Bradford pear or calorie pear for tree plantings in their yard. They bloom in the spring. Uh, they do have pretty white flowers, um, but they don't smell very well. Um, and so these were actually sold at one time as uh, being a, a sterile species. So in other words, they couldn't reproduce. Clearly, um, because of, of crossbreeding and things like that with other trees, they have now figured out a way um, to potentially uh, invade, uh, you know, old hay fields, pastures, things like that, that that may not have been utilized for a while, which is kind of what we're standing in here today. Again, calorie pear is very invasive. You can still buy Bradford pear or calorie pear at, at, at Lowe's, Home Depot, you know, any of our garden stores and things like that. So. Um, we do have a lot of partners around the state that are focused on uh, calorie pear buyback events. So in other words, if you remove a calorie pear from your yard and you provide proof of that, um, they will actually provide you with a native tree to plant in its, in its place. Um, again, very little, if any, value to our native wildlife. Uh, and that includes uh, pollinators, uh, songbird species, um, things like that. Um, in a situation like this, uh, prescribed fire would help to control those calorie pear, um, or you could cut it down, treat the stump with uh, Tordon or Remedy, um, one of those chemicals um, as is it, well. Is that the same thing you would treat Lespedeza with as well? Yeah, so Cerecia Lespedeza, again, one of the <clears throat> chem or a couple of the chemicals that we use to control Cerecia. Uh, Remedy is one of the, the chemicals that we would control. Pasture Guard is another good one as well um, to help control Cerecia Lespedeza. Where can people get more information about how they can get rid of invasives and why they're bad for the environment, et cetera? Yeah, so one of the best places, of course, is uh, MDC's website, mdc.mo.gov. But we also have a lot of partners out there that provide some really great information on invasive species. Uh, the Missouri Prairie Foundation has started the Missouri Invasive Species Council. Um, and if you go to, to their website, they have a lot of information on identification of invasive species, some good alternative native species that they could replace those with, um, and, and I, our methods of control as well. So what we do ask is that, that uh, you know, our landowners, our homeowners try and be responsible and try and use native species as much as possible because they're gonna be the most beneficial to any of our birds, uh, pollinators, whether it's butterflies, whether it's uh, bumblebees, um, things like that. All right, I really appreciate it, Jason, and thank you so much. And I'm going to echo what he said. If you would like to learn more about invasive species, why they're bad, how to get rid of them, and so much more, please go to our website at mdc.mo.gov. Thank you very much, and have yourself a great day.